Hey Lily, today is a very beautiful sunny day. We will have a good picnic. Oh, it's windy. What's the problem Lily? It's the first time I've seen such a strong wind. Looks like a hurricane is coming. It will cause extremely strong winds and rain. What's a hurricane? What causes a hurricane? Okay, let's get started to learn about this natural disaster. Question number one. Hurricanes only form over land. True or false? Um, can you suggest something to me? Okay, can you see the huge tornado storm? Can this tornado form from land? False. Correct. Hurricanes form over warm ocean waters. Hurricanes, also known as cyclones or typhoons in different parts of the world, do not form over land. They are large and powerful tropical storms that originate in warm ocean waters. Let's move on to question two. Question two. The main source of energy for a hurricane is warm ocean water. True or false? are formed from warm water. Good memory, Matt. The main source of energy for a hurricane is indeed warm ocean water. We're tied up. Warm ocean water provides the heat and moisture needed for a hurricane to develop and strengthen. As warm, moist air rises from the ocean's surface, it condenses, releasing heat into the storm's core. This process fuels the hurricane's intense winds and heavy rainfall. Oh, Lily. What meaningful information? Question 3. Hurricane categories are determined solely by their wind speed, with no consideration for other factors. True or false? With a storm that can cause many major consequences, scientists must consider many factors to determine what a storm is like. False, isn't it? That's absolutely correct, Matt. While wind speed is a crucial factor in categorizing hurricanes, the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale also considers potential storm surge and damage. The scale has five categories, with category one being the least severe and category five being the most severe, based on a combination of wind speed and potential impact. Great job, Matt. There are more questions to come. Keep up the spirit. Let's move on to question four. Question number four. The eye of a hurricane is typically calm and clear. True or false? What is the eye of a hurricane? The eye of the hurricane is the center of the hurricane. The eye may be clear or have spots of low clouds, or it may be obscured by low or mid-level clouds or it may be completely obscured by a dense mass of clouds. That means it can be covered with clouds, so I guess the answer is true. Well done, Matt. Let's provide a bit more insight. The eye of a hurricane is typically calm and clear. In the eye of a hurricane, you'll often find clear skies and light winds. It's a stark contrast to the fierce winds and heavy rainfall in the hurricane's eye wall, which surrounds the eye. The eye is a unique and intriguing feature of these powerful storms. Question number five. Hurricanes always move from east to west following the direction of the prevailing winds. True or false? Um, wait a second. I have seen many storms coming with very little information about it, so we cannot predict its direction. False is my answer. Excellent. The answer is indeed true. Hurricanes in the northern hemisphere typically move from east to west, but their actual path can vary. Their movement is influenced by various atmospheric and environmental factors, such as high pressure systems and the Coriolis effect, which can cause them to change direction. Let's move on to question six. Question number six. Hurricanes can lose their strength and dissipate when they move over cooler ocean waters or encounter significant landmasses. True or false? Oh, 
false. I read in the newspaper that hurricanes do not always move in a straight line across the ocean. You're right. I will provide some information about this question. Hurricanes rely on warm ocean waters to provide the heat and moisture needed for their formation and maintenance. When they move over cooler waters or interact with land, they can lose their energy source and weaken or dissipate. It's time for our final question, and what an exciting quiz it has been. Congratulations, kids! You've learned a lot about hurricane. What causes a hurricane? Remember, please prepare the necessary equipment to prevent harm from hurricanes. If you enjoy our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and goodbye.